Okay, this video will discuss the basic anatomy of the mandible bone. And so I have the mandible highlighted here. We can see it's a pretty significant bone. It's the only movable bone of the skull. And so what I would like to do is to completely fade or actually hide the rest of the skull. So we're focusing just on this mandible bone. And I'm going to try to keep rotating it so you can see it's full anatomy and we'll kind of land here. So in terms of directions, this is the front of the body, so that'd be the anterior direction. This would be towards the back of the body. This would be the superior direction towards the top of the body, head and inferior down towards the feet. So let me zoom in a little bit. Give a more three-dimensional perspective there. So for the mandible, we have two main parts that we're going to discuss, and um, the first one's called the body of the mandible. And so the body really is going to stretch from here all the way around. It's the, the main horizontal portion of the mandible. So it stretches from pretty much here all the way around to the other side, that whole chunk of bone running horizontally is the mandible, or rather the body of the mandible. So in addition to this horizontal body that stretches all the way across our face from one side to the other, we have two portions that project superiorly, this huge piece and this huge piece. And so both of those regions of the mandible are known as a ramus the mandibular ramus or the ramus of the mandible. So we have one on the right and one on the left. At the top part of the, the ramus, we have a pretty intricate structure here um, where you can see there's a, a pretty decent scooped out area. That area on either side is known as the mandibular notch because it's notched out. And then because of that notch, two projections are created we have the more posterior projection that's known as the condylar process or sometimes people call it the mandibular condyle. If you've seen my anatomy of the temporal bone you'll notice that that is the part of the mandible that fits into a little fossa on the temporal bone called the mandibular fossa. And so that's where we are forming a joint known as the temporomandibular joint. So this piece posteriorly is the condylar process of the mandible and that's where the movable joint is formed. The more anterior projection on this mandible is known as the coronoid process. That does not form a joint, instead it is for muscle attachment for some of the muscles, well one specifically um, muscle of mastication called the temporalis. So that piece right there that's highlighted is the coronoid process and the ones that are more posterior are the condylar processes. Um, another thing that we need to talk about in terms of this is this part right here. This is the angle of the mandible or the mandibular angle where the ramus meets the body. And so that portion right there is called the mandibular angle. If we progress more towards the front of the bone, we notice this area right here, there's a foramen right here, and also one on the other side. Both of those are the mental foramen. One, and you can still see a little bit right there. Mental foramen, or two, we have two mental foramina. In addition, towards the front side of the bone, we have this prominence that's sticking out forming what I like to call the chin bump and that is known as the mental protuberance. So here's the mental protuberance kind of opposite to the mandibular angle. So the word mental means references your chin and so notice the two mental foramen, foramina and the mental protuberance are all in the chin area. Finally the last part of the mandible that we need to discuss is called the alveolar processes. And in order to show you those, I think I want to use this tool. You can see that the 
why that says ethmoid. Um, the mandible is now highlighted into all its different parts. So some of these we'll, we've learned and some of them we haven't. But these alveolar processes are in this kind of orangish color. Let me zoom way in. It's the little ridges of the bone that kind of scoot up in, beneath, in between the teeth. So it's this peachy color um, right, let me get my, right here. Alveolar processes of the mandible are the parts of the bone that kind of reach up in between the teeth. And you can see the yellow spaces are where the teeth would actually fit. Um, so if I zoom out again, you can see here's the mental protuberance area. This is the mandibular body, the ramus angle mandibular angle, mandibular notch, and then condylar process, coronoid process. Okay, there's the anatomy of the mandible.